Combining the gameplay of EU4 with the battles of Total War has been the stuff of myth and legend, until today. Using a mod created by Miracek, I'm able to play EU4 but fight all of the battles in Medieval 2 Total War, you know, 15th century and all. Each unit in EU4 is represented by a unit in Total War, meaning casualties are dealt by a factor of 69.25 in order to- And you're about to click off the video. So I'm just going to quickly ask you to subscribe because we're close to 40,000 subscribers and that would be amazing. And we're going to get into the video. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, of course we're going to be playing as England for this. I mean, it makes the most sense, right? Excellent. Right, so first things first, we need to add this modifier, which gives us the discipline minus 100. What does that do? Well, that means that we can't do any damage. So all damage will come from, uh, you know, the, the battles. All right, surrender of Maine. So now we're all with France. Okay. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. Uh, let me put defense in this. I still got to remember it. I have to actually play EU4. I can't just wait until uh, until uh, a total war battle happens. Right, get these guys out of the way because I'm interested in fighting that army in Calais. Right, 16,000 versus 14,000. Right, here we go. And now that, that means we click this button. Total War Battle. And we, uh, <laughs> we can fight this in Total War. Let's do it. Right, so here we go. Theoretically, I mean, this, you know, definitely doesn't look like Calais, but. <laughs> so cool. Right, I have, as per uh, EU4, I have 11 units of infantry and five of cavalry. I'm sort of going to leave it like this, you know. Why not? And we'll just get into it. This is actually really cool. This is the dream, isn't it? Start pulling our men out wide a little bit. See if we can entrap them slightly. Okay. Uh, it looks like my orders did not work properly. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's just descending into anarchy. Just fight. Stop. No, just fight them. Oh, Jesus. Oh, dear. Okay. Take those guys out, I suppose. Uh, you guys fight them. Oh, this is this has not gone well. Are they pulling out? Right, we're gonna have a little charge here from behind, of course. God, I'm losing way too many men. Don't attack them. I think I'm winning. I can't tell because it, it is medieval. It is an old game. God. Right, come on, come on. I'm gonna go send some cavalry to finish off the fleeing men. It looks like we should be winning. Look at them. For England. Hack what's in front of you, lads. Come on. There we go. They're starting to break. Is that over? Is it over? Oh, look at that. We killed the general. Brilliant. Excellent. There we go. Right. And now I need to total up the casualties, which look to be basically the same. Okay, men lost. Actually, no, it's not. Okay. Men lost uh, 280. Obviously, this scales up. Right. So thanks to our brilliant work on the battlefield, we're now going to see what happens here. Uh, they lost, it looks like, they lost a cavalry unit. And they lost five units of infantry. All right, and that's how, uh, that's how that works. Wait, when are you getting here? The 12th of July, two days. So apologies uh, if I sound different. Uh, that's because time has moved on. I've had to pause the recording because of a bin fire again. It turns out the same guy who set fire to the last bin, I assume, unless there's a group of them, set fire to the same bin. Not really sure where this whole bin Sega's going, but I'm, I'm actually kind of invested now. <laughs> I, don't, I want to know why they're, they're burning bins. But, you know, that's, I'm sure that'll be answered at some point. Let's get back to EU4. It's a bit of a weird place, man. <laughs> right. I think we can definitely take this. Right. That, this should be in the bag. Come on, please load, please load. There we go. Doesn't look like northern France, I have to say. Oh, look at that. All right now, I need to cause as many losses as possible. Why had my cavalry on both on one side? Wait, where am I? Is that is it is it over already? All right, keep leaving them. They're gonna keep fleeing. Let, let's come on. Let's just try and do as much damage as possible, lads. Oh, we need this. We really need this. You're not gonna catch them, so just turn and catch these guys. This is brilliant. Right, where are you guys? You are hunting those guys down. You are attacking these guys. Look at this! It's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be hard to explain. I'm playing EU4, but the battles are being fought in total war. But we're winning. Against the French. Against the French. Look, we killed the enemy general! Hey! I'm fighting a battle, right? This is this is medieval to total war, right? You... We're winning, and I'm gonna like I'm, I'm look, victory. Just just be happy. No, yeah, look, we won. We won. The battle. Alright, basically I'm also gonna round these down. So let me there you go, continue. 
Obviously, it doesn't fit perfectly, but um, it looks like I should lose 2.4 troops and he should lose 7.3. We'll round down. So, owner, uh, I lost two infantry divisions. Look at that, and that's an army gone. Right, now, do I want to fight? I do want to fight a larger army because I think that'll be fun. The other one's sieging anyway. Uh, there is also one element to it, which is uh, stack wipes. They still do the exact same thing. So, I mean, that is a stack wipe. Oh, you're actually going to attack me there. Really? Provence, 11 versus 6. Do I have to fight that? Yeah, there we go. 11 versus 6. Let's, let's do it. This one feels a little unfair. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, God. They're, they're all gunning for my cavalry. Uh, okay. Why? This is, this, is a, this is a very decentralized battle. Ah, oh, just everyone, just mass charge, lads. Just mass charge. This is where the cavalry is key. Just hunting down the rest. Right, everyone engulf them. <laughs> it's just somewhere in there, in the mess of people. I mean, I think they're all up there. That was a pretty easy battle. I mean, they did decide just to sort of flank themselves. It was an interesting maneuver for sure. I lost 86 men. I don't, that's not even a single unit. That's not a single unit. 371 though. Ooh, now this is going to be an interesting one. I've accidentally stumbled upon a uh, a larger army. Oh dear. Right. Let's see how this goes. Right, so this one's going to be a little bit trickier considering I am very heavily outnumbered. So I'm going to have to actually use a bit of tactics. Right, they only have one unit of cavalry. So my plan is to hold them in the center. And then go from there. Oh, there's quite a few troops there, isn't there? All right, well, at the very least, we can do as much damage as possible. This is not going to be good, I don't think, lads. I do not I do not see this working for a second. Got to try and route as many of them as possible, really. There's no way I told you to charge! All right, come, no, no, these guys, go here. Come on, you got this. God, the horses are dying by in droves. Oh, okay. The cavalry's now are like, they're not reacting to me. They're in an extended battle. Everything's set to run. Come on, come on. You got this. I know defeat seems also certain. Like, we're getting charged from behind and I don't have any horses left. All right, they're shaken. Provided they, they don't get caught in these cavalry, these guys, we should be able to get a charge off. Ah, oh, that's not good. Units routed. I think his units are routed though as well. The horses have rallied. Oh my god. Come on, don't break, don't break, don't break. You got this, you got this, you got this. Come on, lads. This is such a look at the amount of dead bodies there are. Oh my god, we we routed them. We're still significantly outnumbered. One horseman left. Single cavalry charge go. I think it's over. I think it's over. Oh god. No! Oh, for God's sake. Turns out when everyone's a spearman, you've got like extra cavalry. It's not good. Oh, that's a lot of men lost. He lost more, but I don't know if that matters considering the amount of losses we took. I think it's nine for me and, 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 and 10 for him. Yeah, nine for me, 10 for him. Oh God, that's awful. Right, I've actually gotten rid of all my infantry instead of a cavalry, but the numbers still add up. So, oops. I mean, some of these are going to be easier than others. And uh, and here go the provincial <laughs> troops. All right, here we go. 17,000 men. All right, here we go. Oh, I've got cavalry though. And cavalry, like, we're all spearmen. So this means nothing. Cavalry is so underpowered in this game. All right, so for this one, the numbers are quite comparable. So I need to be a little bit careful. Oh, because I really don't want to lose like last time. That was awful. Hello there, late from editing. Now this battle that you're not seeing on screen was probably the best one of the entire game. Right, oh my god, yes, this is what we needed. But unfortunately for both of us, I managed to somehow only record the audio for it. So let me summarize it in a few words. Pointy stick go ow, late win. Oh, great, I didn't record any of that. <laughs> Why? All right, total war battle. Let's have a look at how many they have. And this time I'm definitely gonna remember to record it. All right, here we go, some cinematic shots, I reckon. Look at that. Lovely. Now, Cavalry, if you wouldn't be if you'd be so kind, just to surround them a little bit, that would be great. Here we go. This is where we pick up the stragglers. I've oh, killed the enemy general already. Okay. Alright, one of you go after that one, and the other one go after here. Oh god. Okay, this is this is gonna be painful. Can't support because they won't make it in time. Are they actually gonna attack me or are they just there we go. Alright, eight versus ten. 
All right, this one is going to be a little bit dicey. I'm going to extend my line as much as possible and just sort of see if I can get something going on the flanks. Uh, but I don't see this going well. All right, here we go, lads. Hopefully they don't attack the flanks so I can sort of collapse in a little bit. No, they are attacking the flanks. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is just a pure infantry battle. Come on, let's get out here and then we will attack in here. Come on, this is where we, this is where we get it. You're not fighting anyone, lads. Oh, we had an opportunity here, boys. I had an opportunity there, but my troops refused to do it there at all. Let's see, I'm, I'm heavily outnumbered. It's just going to be grueling, really. Oh, hello. Hang on a second. Oh, we're about to get attacked from the side. No, they're going around the back. I can't stop it. Oh, some of them are breaking. No! Oh, damn it. That's bad. I mean, some of the units are wavering, some aren't. There we go, they're running. We're all running. God damn, that sucked. That was awful. Oh man, I thought we had it, but they just didn't want to do it. We killed almost the same amount of men. Here we go, 13 versus 21. All right. Uh, my cavalry haven't arrived. What? Okay. I think that's my numerical superiority gone because my cavalry didn't turn up to the battle. Oh, okay, right. Well, I suppose we're doing it anyway. I wonder what the cavalry's gonna do. Oh god, here we go. Okay, cavalry charging into me is fine. That's all fine. Let us fold in on them here. Oh my god! Every time one of them pops up, two more take their place. All right, they've lost half their men. That's good. That's good. Oh, the screen's gone black. All right, we're back. Good. All right, move on to the next group. We don't have the men to be able to do anything else. Excellent. We didn't even need the cavalry. Oh, man, we're getting there. We, we, we are getting there. It's just taking a long time, and this is going to be a big battle here. Here we go. We're going to arrive at the same time. All right, let's do it. Oh, great. Oggy. At least this time I have my bloody cavalry. I've got an inverse crescent, basically. I just suppose that's just a crescent. Uh, and we'll see what we can uh, what we can do with that. Hopefully, I mean, ideally, they are. Then we just sort of march straight into it. Like a cavalry charge. My God, though, they've they've absolutely decimated my uh, this army here. Jesus, push them off. Here we go. My God, this is not. It's hard to sort of see with all this. Look, I can't even see my own troops. I actually need to keep attacking the routed troops, basically. That's where the cavalry come in. All right, there we go. And everyone just surged forwards. All right, my cavalry have taken an absolute hiding. Uh, and I've actually lost quite a few troops. Why are you guys here? Oh, I can't see anything. So I'm just taking such unnecessary losses. I'm so lost as to where anything is. I really can't see. There we go. We killed the enemy general. Jesus Christ. That's probably the, the battle over though, isn't it? There we go. Oh, we do basically lost the same amount of men. That was that was that was awful. Right, let me uh, speed up this siege a little bit. Bang. All right, we should theoretically take this faster than they can take any of their stuff back. Is it done? Did we win? Oh, yes! Look at that. No allies, nothing. Just England. Brilliant. Look at that. And that is how I won the Hundred Years' War whilst playing every single battle in uh, Total War. Um, I actually I thought that was amazing, personally. I think that was really, really great. I think it does highlight the, the fact you've only got two types of units in, uh, in EU4. Makes things kind of repetitive a little bit on the total war battle like if you were gonna hypothetically combine the two games variety in this would have to be a thing uh, also it takes a really long time i've been here for about about two hours i want to say and i've played four years so that's i don't think you're playing a full campaign you shout out to mirachek for uh um you know putting actually making the mod and i asked him like six or seven times to tell me to teach me how to pronounce his name and each time he said pronounce it how you want so i'm going with that I've always been a fan of Total War, so I'm thinking of doing more Total War stuff on the channel. If you like that idea, please do let me know what you think in the comments down below. Because I've already got some ideas lined up that I think you'll like. Anyway, 
Thank you guys for watching. Bye.